scattered among all people. When you look out into the earth now today, do you see your people, your people, your people scattered throughout all four corners of the earth? Or your people, if you can go almost anywhere on the planet earth, guess what you'll find? You'll find somebody that looks just like you. That's what you'll find. I don't care where you go at, you will find your people. You know why? Because of this, because of this curse right here. The most I scattered us throughout all the four corners of the earth. Read it again. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth. From one end of the earth? Even unto the other. Even unto the other end of the earth. So it doesn't matter where you go out on the earth, brother. You're going to be able to find your people. Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. It says there. Once we get to these places that, the God, that God is going to scatter us, we're going to serve other gods. We're no longer going to serve the God of the Bible. We're no longer going to serve the God of heaven and earth, creator of all things, right. our God. We're going to serve other gods. Read. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. It says, which thou nor thy fathers have known, meaning our forefathers never knew these gods. All right? Read. Even wood and stone. Even wood. What? Why does it say wood? Even wood. What? religion on earth do our people follow that has a representation of wood? Christianity. Christianity have the wooded cross. The cross that they claim Jesus Christ hung on. They wear that around their neck. You can find our people with that right now, today. Even wood, come on. And stone. And stone, the Kaaba stone for Islam. Islam, uh, they follow Muhammad who worship a, 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 what's that thing, a meteorite that fell from the sky and buried itself in the ground. They follow that thing. But there's something that our people don't know. Muhammad could not read or write. So the, the, the book that he has is called Quran. What does the word Quran mean? It means to recite. So what was he reciting? He was reciting the Bible. He, looked, he, he paid very close attention to what the Jews was bringing out and learned the Bible. How do we know that? Because we have brothers who've done biblical research and has the history of Muhammad. Get Babylon and Timbuktu, you got that? We're going to see what Muhammad came up with when he created the what is now known as the Quran. Quran, remember, keep this in mind. The word Quran means what? To recite. Quran means to recite. Let's see some of this history. Come on. From Babylon to Timbuktu by Rudolf R. Windsor. Page 45. When Muhammad was born, many Arabs were still worshiping the sun, stars, spirits, and idols. You hear that? Give me that in Jer uh, in, uh, Jeremiah. All right, read. The Arabs possessed 360 idols, one for each day of the year. So they had 360 idols. The Arabs had 360 idols. They had an idol for every day of the year that they worshiped. What are we talking about? We're talking about Muhammad and the Quran. Because our people are caught up in this foolishness. We got to wake up. Read. In his youth, he was never taught to read or write. So Muhammad could not read or write. Come on. But his imagination was superlative. Uh -huh. Muhammad was an extraordinarily handsome man. Uh -huh. And eloquent in motivating men with the power of words. He could manipulate men with the power of words. Right. Look at how our people are manipulated into Islam right now. They right. don't have a clue what they're following. That's Read. Right. After Muhammad became a camel driver, he traveled to remote and intriguing lands. Uh -huh. He led his caravans to Persia, Syria, and Egypt. So these are some of the places that he went, but let's see where he went. Transacting business with the merchants of every kind. Uh -huh. On his business trips, he met Jews, Christians, and members of other sects. So on his journey, brother, he met Jews, Christians, and members of other sects. But in, in, in encountering these Jews, we're going to find out what he did. Read. He interrogated them concerning the uh, tenets of their religion. So he interrogated them. He questioned them. He, he wanted more information about them regarding their religion. Come on. He frequented the environment of the Jews. He frequented what? The environment of the Jews. So he frequented the environment of the Jews. The Jews are who? The people of the Bible. The Jews are you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's who you are. But here you call yourself American because we have lost all knowledge of ourselves. We don't know that we're the Jews. We think we're black, the color of my pants, the color of my boots. That is a lie. Come on. 
and their rabbis. And the rabbis, come on. Mostly because they were merchants and an omnipresent ethnic group because he could not read or write. So, but because Muhammad could not read or write, come on. His ears were attentive and keen to everything that the Jews related to him. He paid attention to everything that what? That, that who? The Jews related to him. So Muhammad paid very close attention to what the Jews related to him. Why? Because the Jews are the only people with the real God. Yes, you right. blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the only people that have a real, living, true and living God. Yes, right. Muhammad learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion. Come on, read that again. You hear that, brother? What did Muhammad do? Muhammad learned and extracted much from the Jewish religion. Come on. And compounded it with his new religion. Compounded it with what? His new religion, huh? Islam. Compounded it with his new religion, Islam. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 real quick. He compounded it with his new religion. The key word in this phrase is what? What's the key word in this phrase? He compounded it with his new religion, Islam. What did the Bible say about that? Come on. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 17. They, they sacrifice unto devils, uh -huh. not to God. So our people sacrifice to devils, not to God. Remember what it said in the beginning, brother, that the uh, Arabs had how many gods? How many idols did they have? They had 360 idols for every day of the year. Right. We just read that Muhammad, he paid very close attention to the Jews and he compounded the things that he came up with with his what? New, new religion, Islam. Read it again. They sacrificed unto devils, Come on. not to God, uh -huh. to gods whom they knew not. So they sacrificed to God whom they knew not. Come on. To new God. To what? To new God. Islam is a what? New God. Christianity is a what? New God. It's not the God of the Bible. That's right. That is not who created Islam. The God of this Bible gave us laws. Statues and commandments. He gave us promises that if we kept these commandments, we would be set on high. But if we broke these commandments, we will be brought down very low under all nations. Get me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We'll be brought down very low. So what are we teaching? We're teaching that we have to come back to God's laws. We have to learn to honor the Sabbath day, which is today. We have we cannot buy. We cannot sell, we cannot cook, we cannot clean. We have to honor the Most High according to what he has given us. Right. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For thou art an holy people unto the, excuse, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. It says that you are an holy people unto the Lord thy God. But our people don't want to be holy. We don't want to be separate from the other nations. That's right. Martin Luther King gave us a false idea of joining hands with our oppressors. That's what he did. He gave us a false idea. <laughs> Breathe. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So this brother says what? That Sunday is what? Hey brother, what you say? Sunday is what? It's not the Sabbath day. Sunday is not the Sabbath day. You're absolutely right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're Sunday. absolutely right. Saturday, if you, if, if you pull out a calendar right now, Friday night, which is a Saturday morning. Yes. If you pull out a calendar right now, you're gonna see on your calendar the first day of the week is what? Saturday. The first day of the week is what? Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. Right. That's what Sunday is. The first day. The seventh day is Saturday. That's but right. we've been so uh diluted with false information we think that the next day starts at what time what time does the next day start 12 o'clock what about you what do you think 12 o'clock what do you say that is absolutely wrong according to god according to god let's find out what, what when the day starts these are the things that we got to start understanding outside of learning these religions we got to realize that we lost all knowledge of time and heritage. We lost all knowledge of time and heritage. We don't even know today is the Lord's Sabbath day. That is the most important, that's one of the most important things that we have to remember about this day. All right? Sunday, the first day of the week. Sunday is what? First day of the week. So Sunday, somebody knew something. The scholars that translated this thing, they knew Sunday is the first day of the week. 
But we think Sunday is the last day of the week. Hey, you know what? We create, we, we do all our evil Monday through Saturday. And then Sunday we say, you know what? I know I did evil this week, bro. You know what? I'm going to church today. I'm going to church today. You know what? I've been evil all week long. I'm going to church today. But guess what? You're honoring the most high on the wrong day. All right? Read what you got. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 5. And God called the light day. Uh huh. And the darkness he called night. Come on. And the evening. You hear that? In the evening. And the morning. And the morning. Or the first day. Let's analyze that. The evening and the morning. At the same time. The evening and the morning. You pay attention, brother? It says the evening and the morning were the first day. So that means today is the what? Seventh day, right? So when we learn that, uh, when, we ta when we're taught that the evening or that the next day starts at 12 o'clock or 12.01, guess what? That's a lie. Give me Daniel chapter 7.25, right? No! Give me Daniel 7.25. Because we got to understand something. Our oppressors know exactly who we are and what they must do to keep us in this condition. Right. We will forever remain in a servile condition until our people come back to keeping God's laws. Right. What does that mean for us? That means rulership on earth when we come back to keeping God's laws. Right. Read what you got. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25. Come on. And he shall speak great words against the it Most says, High. It says he shall speak great words against the Most High. Come on. And shall wear out the saints. He's going to wear out the saints. But who are the saints? Bring it up. Who are the saints? Yeah. Prove it. Can you prove it? If, I, if somebody said, uh, T-Money, you said we're the saints. Can you prove it? And there's nothing wrong with saying, I don't know. Because that's what we're here for. We're here to show our people that we can prove who we are with this Bible. All right. All right. But I, I, I really do feel like we are the saints. All right, we're going to show you what that is. Yes. Psalms chapter 148, verse 14. So this yeah. is the book of Psalms chapter 148. Come on. He also exalted the horn of his people. Come on. The praise of all his saints. The praise of all his saints. Come on. Even the children of Israel. Uh-huh. Even who? The children of Israel. So the children of Israel are the saints of the Most High God. Go back to where he was in Daniel. All right? Read Daniel that. chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. So our old press is going to speak great words against the Most High. Come on. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And he's going to wear out the saints of the Most High. And think to change times and laws. And think to change the time and the laws. Come on. They shall be given into his hand. That's going to be given into the hands of our oppressor. Right. All right. There's a lot of things that we've learned here from our oppressor that just ain't right. 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 Our whole existence has not been right. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.
So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.